Wow. The Raven or I and I am the Raven forevermore. Yes. Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Gone on you with the pick and roll. Young the flame. Oh. Hello, Gasly Gaming viewers. I'm playing a game called The Raven. I don't necessarily get how I'm supposed to play this game, but okay. I have to find a way to get that to stop doing that. There's supposed to be music with this, but I don't hear anything. Every time after you read all the letters, you go to the armchair to go to the next room. Enjoy the game. Okay. Alrighty. Well, apparently. Whoa! 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 Once upon a time, a midnight dreary. Once upon a bit, once upon a time, once upon a bit that Jerry, while I ponder and weak and weary over many a quaint and curious volume of forgotten lore, while I nodded nearly, napping suddenly there came a, a tapping, as of someone gently rapping, rapping at my chamber door. Tis some visitor. I muttered, tapping at my chamber door. Only this and nothing more. That's it. That, that, that's it? That's it? Ah, distinctively I remember. It was in the bleak of December. And each separate dying ember rot is ghost upon the floor. Eagerly I wished the morrow, vainly I had sought to borrow from my books, Sir Keith, Sir, Sir, I think I said that right, of sorrow, sorrow of the lost, Lenore, for the rare and radiant maiden, who the angels named Lenore, nameless here for evermore. These are some strange letters, I tell you. But I gotta read them all, apparently. And the silken, sad, uncertain rustling of each purple curtain thrilled me, filled me with fantastic terrors never felt before. So that now, to still the beating of my heart, I stood repeating, "'Tis some visitor entreating entrance at my chamber door." Some late visitor entreating entrance at my chamber door. This is this this it is and nothing more. Okay. What the Okay, how did that get in there? Presently my soul grew stronger, hesitating hesitating then no longer. Sir, said I, or madam, truly your forgiveness I implore. But the fact is I was napping and so gently you came rapping. And so faintly you came tapping, tapping at my chamber door, that I scarce was sure I heard you. Here I opened wide the door. Darkness there and nothing more. <gasps> it's moving deep into that darkness peering long I stood there wondering fearing doubting dreaming dreams no mortal ever dared to dream before but this but the silence was unbroken and the stillness gave no taken and the only word there spoken was the whisper word Lenore this I whispered and an echo murmured back the word, Lenore, merely this and nothing more. This is supposed to be based off of Edgar Allan's Poe the Raven, so I don't know what's going to happen. Back into the chamber, turning, all my soul within me burning. Soon again I heard a tapping, somewhat louder than before. Louder than before. 
Surely, said I, surely that is something at my window, Lattice. Let me see, then, what there is in this mystery explore. Let my heart be still a moment in this mystery explore. Tis the wind and nothing more, so you say. Oh gosh, it's gone. She's not a good time. Open here I flung the shutter, when, with many a flirt and flutter, and there stepped a stately raven of the saintly days of yore, not the least obs obscene <laughs> made he, not a minute that uh, not a minute stopped or stayed he, but with mien of lord or lady, perched above my chamber door. Perched upon a bust of Pallas. Pallas? I think this. I don't know. Just above my chamber door. Perched and sat and nothing more. Then this ebony bird be going. My sad fancy into smiling. By the grave and stern decorum. Of the countenance it wore. Thou. Thy crest be shorn. And shaven thou. I said. Art sure no craven. Ghastly grim and ancient, ancient raving, raven, wandering from the nightly shore. Tell me what thy lordly name is on the night's plutonium shore. Quoteth the raven, nevermore. Oh, no, 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 I didn't want to read it again. Ah, jeez. Yeah, 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 I get it. Okay. What happened to the raven? Much I marveled this ungainly fowl to hear the score so plainly. Thou, th uh, though its answer little meaning little, relevantly bore, for we cannot help agreeing that no living human being ever yet was blessed with seeing bird above this his chamber door. Excuse me. Bird or beast upon the sculptor bust upon his chamber door, with such name as nevermore. But the raven, sitting only on a placid bust, spoke only that one word as if his soul in that one word he did outpour. Nothing farther than he uttered, not a feather than he fluttered, till I scarcely more than mother. Other friends have flown before. On the morrow he will leave me, as my hopes have flown before. Then the bird said, Nevermore. Can I leave the room now? Startled at the stillness, broken by reply, so aptly spoken. Doubtless, said I, what it mutters is its only stock in store, caught from some unhappy master, whom unmerciful disaster. Followed fast and followed faster till his songs who burn one burn bore till the degrees of his hope that Malek Mal Mek I can't say it Melancholy burn bore of um, never never more but the raven still be going on my fancy into smiling. Straight I willed a cushion seat in front of the bird and bust in door. Then upon the velvet sinking, I betook myself to winking. Fancy upon fancy, thinking what this anonymous bird of yore, what this grim, ungainly, ghastly, gaunt, and <laughs> anonymous bird of yore, meant in croaking nevermore. Can I leave now? No? Okay. This I sat engaged in guessing, but no syllable expressing to the fowl whose fiery eyes now burn into my bosom's core. This and more I sat divining with my head at ease reclining on the cushion's velvet lining that the lamp lit gloated o'er. But whose velvet violet lining with the lamp lighting gloating? Or shall sh uh, she shall press I, oh, nevermore. Then, methought, 
the air grew denser, perfumed from on unseen sensors, swung by seraphim, seraphim whose footfalls tinkled in the tufted floor. Oh, I'm so tired of reading. <laughs> Wretch, I cry, thy God hath lent thee, by these angels he hath sent thee, respite, respite, and nepotheme from thy memories of Lenore. Quaff, O oh, quaff this kind, nepotheme, and forget this lost Lenore. Quoted the raven, nevermore. Prophet, said I, thing of evil, prophet still, if bird or devil. What? 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 Oh, what? No! I think I skipped the dialogue. Oh, well. Whether tempers sent, or whether tempest tossed thee here ashore, desolate yet all undaunted, on this desert land enchanted, on this home by horror haunted, tell me truly, I implore. Is there, is there bomb in Gilead? Tell me, tell me, I implore. Call of the Raven, nevermore. Can I leave now? Should I just, oh, I can't go anywhere. Oh, isn't that wonderful. Guess I'm stuck in this room. Prophet said I, think of evil prophet still. If bird or devil be that heaven, Heaven that bends above, us by that God we both adore. Tell this soul with sorrow, laden if uh, within the distant Aiden, it shall clasp a saint maiden, who the angels name Lenore, clasps a rare and radiant maiden, whom the angels name Lenore, quoted the raven, nevermore. Be that word our sign of parting, bird or fiend, I shrieked up starting. Get these, get thee back into the tempests and the night's plutonian shore. Leave no black plume as a token of that lie thy soul hath spoken. Leave my loneliness unbroken. Quit the bust above my door. Take thy beak from out my heart and take thy form from off my door. Call it the raven nevermore. Is this done yet? Can I please leave? This is torture as it is. Okay. Wow. The raven are I, and I am the raven forevermore. What, what, what am I supposed Am I supposed to go towards the raven? Never more. That's it? That's it? Oh, I. Yep, that's it. <clears throat> what an interesting little game that was. I thought it was more to it, but I guess not. Alrighty then. I guess I'll go to the next game. Let's see what this one is. Gosh, this thing is right in my eye. Hopefully this game is a vibe or anything. Because it looks a little... I don't know. It looks a little, I guess... What's the word I'm looking for? Like, be a little bit on the... I guess Gorus I don't know. Oh wait, wait, wait. I don't know how loud this is gonna be. Since there was no sound on the last game. Let's play a game. How about no? What kind of game is this? My phone was going off, dude. Who's just gonna ask me that? I quit. That's what happened.
Okay. Well, I don't think this game is gonna work. Yeah, it's just as I thought. Close program, please. No, 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 I wanted to close it. Can I? Ooh. Dude, why don't you have any gloves on, man? So apparently, I'm a toy in this game. I don't know why there's no sound. At least not now. Uh, oh. Oh, I thought that was a person. I don't know what I'm supposed to do, but... Okay. I'll just keep it moving. Can I run or anything? Or do I just keep moving? Yes, I just keep moving. <gasps> oh my. This is trouble, isn't it? Lady's drunk. It looks like she's reading something. Hopefully she doesn't notice me. Oh, it looks like she's nodding off. Or she just can't sit straight in her chair. Alrighty. I think she's... Yeah, she's nodding off. You hear? You don't see a thing. Oh my gosh, never mind. She's awake. What's up with your eyes, lady? What is going on with your eyes? Do I even want to know? Why is this dude just in his drawers? I wouldn't call this a horror game, but apparently it's supposed to be one. Oh, he's staring at her. Didn't even notice that until now. Or is it because of the way I'm turning the camera? Oh, okay, yeah. Never mind. Can I, like, go to a different area, please? I have a feeling I'm in danger. No. So, am I supposed to just approach her or something? I don't know what to do. I hate that there's no sound. I don't know why there isn't. There was sound at the beginning. supposed to do? It gave me like no objective. Is that door open now? I'm watching you lady. I'm watching you. I don't get it. What am I supposed to do? That's something to do with that dice over there. Oh, is that a- no, that's not another opening I thought it was. Man, yeah, I was over here getting my hopes up and stuff. Can I? Can I? Oh, I can. I can go through here. What's in here? Nothing of importance, just a regular old bathroom. Is that lady still there? Yeah, she's still there. Looks like she's not moving anymore, though. Is she? Oh, no. She still looks like she's nodding off. What's this? Nothing? What am I supposed to do exactly? I mean, I wasn't giving specific instruction on what to do. What the heck? Wait, what was that all about? What the? What the what? Oh, it's a camera change. I'm just pressing bench to see if I can do anything else. No, what the? Whoa! Whoa, wait, wait, wait. Go back, go back, go back. Oh, that's camera. What the? What the? What the heck is going on here? What in the world? It's with the weird camera angle. Okay, well, I know C and. What is it? R and E does something? 
I don't know what am I what am I supposed to do? What am I supposed to do? <sighs> well, I don't run to another confusing game. So I am going to at least end this game. Come on. Okay, well. What other games do I have in my library? Mm -hmm. I still don't get what the point of that game is. Oh uh, yeah, I think I played this one a while ago. This game was pretty weird in its own way. Okay, where were the controls again? Ah, uh, no, that's not what I wanted. Action, arrow keys. Okay, perfect. That's all I needed. This is a horror game tackling sensitive toxic topics. Proceed under your own risk. Oh yeah, I remember this warning. Okay. This is a really tragic situation and you have my deepest empathy. So let's summarize this story. At 5 p.m. Mr. and Mrs. Damon were at home watching TV. Their son Lucas was playing with his friend Felix. At 7 p.m. Mr. and Mrs. Damon sent Felix home and made their son something to eat. At 8 p.m. they sent their son to bed so they can go and celebrate their anniversary. They went out of town with their car to go eat something nice. At home, Lucas wasn't able to sleep and got himself some water from the kitchen. Ooh, I actually hear something. Alrighty. I can't sleep. I'm thirsty. I should get some water from the kitchen. It's my closet. This is my teddy. I love him. Aw, that's cute. What's in here? Again. Oh yes, the bathroom. The school at school Felix always flushes my head down the toilet. I'm kinda scared of him, but he's my only friend. Sounds more like a bully to me. At least I got Teddy to keep me company. It's our sink. Felix broke it. Now we can only get hot water out of it. Who the heck is Felix? It's our bathtub. I love it. I al it's always so clean. Ooh, a knife. It's our kitchen knife. Mom used it to make me dinner. I feel so mighty when I hold this sharp knife in my hands, but I'm not allowed to touch it anymore because it's too dangerous. Of course, kid. In fairy tales, children get put in here. In our house, we use it as a fridge to save on electricity. Wait, what? What? That doesn't make any sense. I sometimes think about killing Felix because of all the mean stuff he does to me. Who the heck is Felix? I know I played this game before, but maybe I wasn't really paying attention to it. I don't know. But I can't do that. Otherwise, I'll be all alone. At least this knife will protect me if a murderer came by. Drinks water directly from sink. Ah, this was so good. Now I can finally go to bed again. Okay. I don't know why the phone is ringing this late at night, but okay. Hello, Lucas. I see you're having a nice time. How was your water? It's a real pleasure watching you from here. Why don't you come out and play with me? No. I won't hurt you. I just want to have a little fun with you. Is this Felix? Are you mocking me again? 
Oh, was that the name of your little friend with the green cap? Oh gosh. I saw him leave your house earlier. Such a nice young body. I tried to have fun and play with him too. But he kept resisting, so I had to force. He used force, and I don't like to use force. And you seem to be quite resistant as well. I had enough of this. If you won't let me have fun, my fun, then I'll just get it by killing you. He hung up. This guy was completely mental. Good thing the front door is locked. Nobody could come in or get out until my parents come home. I'm really scared now. I need to go and cuddle with Teddy. Why is this kid by himself? Was Felix his babysitter? What the? That's weird. Teddy's not here. Where is he? Teddy! Teddy! I need to find Teddy no matter what. Nope. Well, it took a little star show. It's getting dark. Here you are, Teddy. I searched everywhere for you. What happened to you? You're all black now with some red, weird, glowing red eyes. Come here. I'll take care of you. The lights just went out without a warning. Hello. Is anybody there? Teddy, stay here. I'm going to search for the source of this. Oh my. I remember this. Kill you. Someone wrote kill you with blood on our kitchen table. Oh gosh, I'm getting chills. Should I really be playing this in the dark? That's weird. The screen is flickering. I can't turn it off. Kidding. Chills. Painting on my closet. Why would anyone do this to freak you the hell out, of course? Our bathtub is filled with blood and it stinks horribly. Who could do such a thing? A murderous person? It's the door to my parents, so I'm not allowed in there. I was told to stay inside. I shouldn't go out there besides the door is locked. What am I supposed to do? I don't know. I'm too afraid to go to sleep. Well, heck, I'd be scared to go to sleep too. Am I forgetting something? Someone cut through the wires. I can't call anyone. Okay. Alright. Set the door. Oh yeah, the door was locked. I can't open the door to see who rang the doorbell. Hello, Lucas. Were you looking for me? What the? F Don't try to run away. After all, you're trapped here with me. Let's play a game of catch. The rules are simple. You can't hide because I'd eventually find you. And if I catch you, you're dead. Okay, I know where I'm going. Ah, go, 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 go. That's when Lucas grabbed, Lucas took a sharp kitchen knife and stabbed what he thought was a murderer. After the murderer died, you two came in and saw what happened. Mr. Damon took off the murderer's mask and found the culprit. It was Felix who had tried to pull off a sick prank. His parents are now suing Lucas for murder. I'm afraid there's not much I can do to help your case. Lucas will go to prison for a long time. Oh, so this is just another end. Oh. Well, why would he do that? I'm guessing Felix must be a bully. Okay, this is a bad end. Well, thank you, Consul uh, Argonaut. I think that's how you said it. As a submission for Scream Jam 2018. The following people worked on the graphics. 
All the carpets and windows, Teddy design toys thing. Awesome. Thank you for playing. I hope you enjoyed it. I surely did. You got all oh, those three endings. If not, why don't you keep these following things in mind for the next time the killer attacks you? Front door, kitchen knife, touching the killer. By pressing up on the start screen, you can skip the opening dialogue. Press down will trigger the doorbell scene. Wait, seriously? You can close the window now. Well, thanks for the advice, but I want to see what the other endings are. Okay, so that was one. Uh, what's the other one? Can I? It's only to press up. How do I? I was doing that. Ah, oh, forget it. I want to see what the ending is. I mean the other two. What I don't get is how the parents suing when their kid was pretty much bullying this kid. Come on, it was pretty obvious. Door. Ooh, I, okay, I think I know what the other two are. Okay, well. Guess I gotta explore everything first again. Ah, oh, great. I don't know why that still gives me the chills. Can I? Okay, so what happens if I, if I go out? Lucas demolished the door front and ran into the darkness. Turns out the guy disguised himself as a murderer was Felix. He had tried to pull a sick prank on Lucas. Seeing Lucas run away, he decided to go after him. They end up in the forest. Lucas was hiding when he saw Felix bumping into a shadowy figure. It was the murderer who escaped from prison today. The murderer tried to chop off Felix's hand, but Lucas jumped in and saved Felix's life. They both managed to get away and find shelter in our police station. Sadly, Felix's arm got cut off by the murderer. But he'll survive it. Your son is a hero. You can both, you both can be very proud of him. Oh, ho, ho. well, I like that ending then. Okay. Okay, so that was the second ending. Let's see what the last one is.
at the start screen for real? Okay, well, now I know. I was doing it wrong this whole freaking time. There we go. Fun. Oh my. I like to have fun. Do you like to have fun? I do. Let me stop. Yeah, what happens when I touch them? And that's where Lucas collapsed. He had a heart attack and died of shock. You two came in right afterwards and saw the scene. There he stood. Felix disguised his murderer, crying over his dead friend's body. I can assure you that Felix will spend a long time in prison. And I'm deeply sorry for your loss. Okay, well... That took a very another dark turn, I guess. Uh, I wonder if I should play one more game. Uh, no, I think I'll stop there. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Please feel free to like, comment, share, and subscribe. And I will see everyone in another video.